Hi, my name is Mari Levitt. I'm privileged to serve the beautiful 28th Legislative District in Western Pierce County. Today we're talking about my legislative priorities and how we're going to address the real challenges we're having in the opiate and fentanyl crisis. The legislature is working on a variety of fronts because we have so many needs in Washington State. This particular session, and because it's a short session, I've narrowed in on housing, workforce development, behavioral health, education, community safety, because these are the top issues that I'm hearing from residents and constituents all across the 28th. Unfortunately, Washington State is in the top tier who have residents who have been impacted by the opiate and fentanyl crisis. We've lost over 1,600 souls to fentanyl poisoning or overdoses, and it's incumbent upon us in the legislature to tackle it on multi-fronts, working with our local governments and local health departments, working with our library associations, our schools, whether it's K-12 through or post-secondary education, our substance providers and treatment centers to make sure that we have adequate opportunity for folks to get treatment, and then also addressing our workforce shortage because we need folks to work in these treatment facilities in order to make sure that folks can get help. But it really has impacted every community and every corner of the state, and we're tackling it with a multi-pronged approach has especially hit our tribal partners hard and our tribes hard and, and grateful for their important work that they're doing to tackle the crisis as well. This particular session, because it's a short session, we're really focusing on what's going to have the most impact to save lives. Whether it's approaching it in our K-12 through system, working with partners in the public health communities to ensure that students and parents have education and awareness in order to prevent fentanyl poisoning or deaths in our K-12 through schools as well as post-secondary education institutions. We're working with our local health departments to make sure that they have the resources that they need so that they can address it both from an education and prevention perspective, but then also assist and consult on substance use treatment and provider activities. We're making sure that we have enough treatment and provider access to residents who need treatments across the state. And we also need to address our workforce shortage in making sure that we're enticing and incentivizing folks to work in these fields because we can have all the treatment centers and facilities out there in the state and available to residents, but unless we have staff who are working there and working with patients and individuals, it's not going to be to our advantage. So we're really tackling it on many fronts with all partners in our state, including our public health, to ensure that we're addressing the needs of our citizens and then also working in a heavy way to prevent these occurrences from happening in the first place. You can send us a message by going through the legislative website or you're welcome to call our number at 360-786-7890. Whatever method works for you is where we'll be. And we also hope that you um, reach out and if you're down in Olympia and wanna meet, I'd love to have you here in my office and hear your concerns.